Hi everyone, I'm Girish from the Cisco Wireless team. This video is intended to help users get a quick peek at configuring the next generation Catalyst 9800 wireless controller as the guest foreign controller and with AirOS as the guest anchor. As we all know, guest WLANs in an enterprise allow their guests to gain access to the internet without compromising on the security of the corporate network. Let's take the case of a guest WLAN with local web authentication, also called LWA. So here, there is no L2 authentication happening at the foreign. We only need to ensure mobility tunnels are up and foreign is being told where to anchor these clients. In the case of Catalyst 9800 wireless controller, the DTLS encryption of mobility control channel is always on. It is optional on the mobility data channel. The self-signed certificate hash validation is only applicable when using the virtual form factor. The Catalyst 9800 wireless controller can interoperate with Arrow's versions starting from 8.8. .8. There is also a 8.5 MRT special with which it can interoperate. Now with this background set, let's get into the web UI. On the Catalyst 9800 dashboard, one AP has already joined and there are no clients. Now let's go to the configuration and select mobility under wireless section. Then we can edit the mobility group name and add the MAC address under global configuration. The MAC address can be any unique address amongst all the mobility peers in the deployment. However, a safe option is to pick the management interface MAC. Now go to the Peer Configuration tab and add the peer details such as MAC, IP and Mobility Group Name. As you can see, the control and data path are down to start with. The tunnels are now established. Let me show you the tunnel status on the AirOS by logging into its web UI. As you can see, the tunnel status is up and we have already keyed in the virtual Catalyst 9800 SSE hash on this controller. The SSE hash on the virtual Catalyst 9800 can be obtained using Show Wireless Management Trust Point CLI. The data encryption is also enabled. Both of these steps are optional. Now let's look at the guest WLAN in AirOS. The IRCM underscore web is the WLAN. We can see that the web auth is enabled. There is no layer 2 authentication and LWA is enabled under layer 3 security. Now let's inspect the mobility anchor settings. As you can see, the WLAN will be anchored by this controller. Now let's go back to the Catalyst 9800 web UI and create the WLAN. From the configuration menu, select the WLANs under Tags and Profiles section. Click Add and add the IRCM underscore web SSID and mark the status as enabled. Under security, we need to edit layer 2 and layer 3. In layer 2, change the layer 2 security mode to none. In layer 3, enable web policy. Now save and apply the settings to the device. Now we need to add the anchors. The policy settings of a newly created WLAN are present in default policy profile. From the configuration menu, 
select the policy under Tags and Profile section. Click on the default policy profile and add the anchors from the Mobility tab. We can always choose to create a custom policy profile and associate it with the WLAN. Now we are all set and clients can log in. Let's take a look at the dashboard. As you can see, there is one active client. We can click on that and we can see the mobility role is marked as export foreign. So to conclude, Catalyst 9800 wireless controller can interoperate with AeroS wireless controller. It's easy to configure through the web UI. Thank you.